Are you wondering which kind of supports that you would need for your 3D model? Well, in this video, in Creality Print, I'll show you my favorite settings when it comes to using supports and also how to remove them, right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here, welcome to this video. So when it comes to 3D printing, you also going to need supports eventually. Maybe you have avoid using supports because it is a little bit unknown, or you're getting those ugly, supports that leave also nasty marks on your print. Those things you don't want to have. But you cannot remove the supports all out of the 3D print because you're get, getting filled prints. So let's dive into Creality Print and I'm going to show you my favorite supports and their settings. So let's dive in Creality Print. So Creality Print, well, make sure to have selected the right 3D printer with also the matching plate. In my case, I'm going to use the Creality Ender 3 V3 Plus, and I have selected the textured PEI sheet. So I'm going to import a model from Peter Farrell. It's a low poly dragon, a very cool one. So I have imported right here. It's not all the way in the middle, as you can see. So right hand mouse button, and we click on center. So if you are going to inspect the model, you already see like, okay, this, this model looks cool. I like this. But other than that, if you are going to look closely to the model, the wings, for example, they have an overhang. Maybe not right away from the start, but there is going to be an angle that the printer has difficulties to print it without any supports. So that are places where supports are needed. We see here at the belly from the dragon, it's not a title of a book but believe me it's going to be nasty if you are not using any support so here you see even also when it is a low poly meaning also more straight lines that the legs are ending up inside of the body and that the lower part of the body is not attached to the legs it's you know dipping down in a little bit so if you would have printed this without any supports i can guarantee that you will see some filament strains or sticking to the legs or on the bottom of the model so on the build plate so to avoid that we are going to need supports we can go very deep into this little topic but i think because of the basics of 3D printing and using supports, let's uh, go over this very quickly. So for the filament, I'm having selected Hypa PLA. The te printing temperature is 220 and the bed temperature is 65 degrees. For this video, I'm going to use the 0.20 standard at Creality 3 V3+. Plus. Always make sure when you use a Creality print that you have also selected the right profile. I think that Creality print automatically selects the right profile for this. So 0.2, the seam is aligned, so you will get somewhere in the print. If you are going to the preview, you will see exactly where the seam is going to be. Precision, yeah, that is an experimental thing. This looks fine. Strength, we are going for, let's go for three. Three wall loops, top shelf, four, a bottom shelf, three. Yeah, let's, let's do this, three. You will see everywhere where I'm going to make some changes that you will get some yellow color for the changes you have made. Also here now, infill. Yeah, this is a very simple model. Cool, but simple. I'm going to use a normal infill of 10%. Uh, the infill pattern, we have different choices. I always think that the gyroid is looking the most gorgeous and here we choose for monotonic i never seen two different kind of infills to be honest but okay let's continue the speed nothing to see here but if you click on the advanced parameters you will find more i don't think that this is really needed the first layer is printed at 100 millimeters per second infill also and the rest will be printed at 300 and outer wall is 200 not that much of an importance so let's go now for the supports. Enable supports? Yes, please. Well, the type tree supports, it is an auto, but we have a normal tree supports. And you can see in the right hand corner, you can see exactly how the support will look like. Here you have the normal supports, very straight lines. And on this side, you will see three supports. Style, there are also some different styles. I don't know why this is getting smaller. I'm going for organic. The threshold angle, 30%. First layer density, 90%. First layer expansion is two. And then we have here also 
the choice on the build plate only if for in this case the belly it is the part that is facing your build plate so there you need to make sure to have set it correctly or else you will get the issues that i mentioned earlier remove small overhangs so here is the slicer going to compensate for the fact that the overhang is small and therefore it's it's going to do something so uh, let's click on on build plate only and here you see on the reference in the visual how this would look like so this is the build plate this is the overhang and then you see everything being supported here so what reality print is showing here right here is that even if you have the same kind of thing sitting up on top of it it's not going to be supported so what you have here is not going to be here in this case you can clearly see how the support is going to work for this setting slice plate we scroll a little bit out let's remove this and here this is how the dragon will look like in the setting with supporting on the build plate only so it is looking very messy with all the other lights here as well you know let's turn it around and you will see how this looks like a tree support usually is printed on the build plate and then growing around the 3d model and then going for the spots where the overhangs are needed also here it is growing along the chest of of the dragon so through the mouth of the dragon trying to support this part from the model it is looking nice i do like the tree supports very much now we have selected on the build plate only so what what would happen when i deselect this one and uh, do the slice build plate so this is how it looks like now so before i had build plate only now if you look at this does this picture look quite familiar very pretty very cool so i would suggest to play a little bit with these settings here and see how it will look like if you are going to say like close advanced parameters you will get the only necessary things to play with when it comes to using supports here the 90 is gone threshold angle you see here exactly for the threshold so if you are talking about overhangs the closer it comes to the build plate the smaller the number gets and in this case we have here 30 so that means that every overhang 30 or lower will be printed so in the advanced you can you can make a lot of changes but you know try out and see how it looks like so let's go for organic let's slice this just i can make this bigger because i have a big printer i can print this bigger yeah let's do that let's do that so select it and let's go for in the z height 200. would you think that it will also have different support needed let's find it out so even when you are scaling up a model like this going from 13 centimeters to 26 centimeters well the printing time went from six hours to 13 hours so here we see the same model only bigger but also here when you are checking out how the tree supports will look like i think that these are also still the same supports but also the supports are bigger so you have here uh, more to throw away but then you have also a nicer model and just like this as you can see here the white line is where the seam is and just on a spot where you have a corner and especially if you are doing low poly prints you will see them always somewhere on an edge so all set let's let's send this to the printer So, and now the whole low poly dragon from Peter Farrell is printed and it is looking amazing. So let's remove these three supports and uh, let's see how easy that this goes. I'm thinking about it to do a time lapse, but since people want to see this, well, this is how it looks like. And now let's remove the supports.
So as you can see, I'm trying to go with the direction of the model. As you can see, there is wobble in there. The walls are three, so that should be more than efficient. But since I have an infill of 15% or 10%, this is not so very stiff. But for the mo model in itself, it's perfect, it's fine. So I need to disconnect this part. Okay, now I can remove this support. The remain will be removed after the model is completely free. Or maybe I can try it like this. Good, bad adhesion. Very important. So the cool thing of three supports, you are going to remove not first the trunk of, of, the, uh, of the tree supports, you are going to take away the little branches that are attached to the model. Look at this, how pretty that this side looks like. Here we have still some, some something on the feet. Be careful also removing that because it is easy to break. But here, check this out. And there you go, a nice low poly dragon from Peter Farrell. It looks amazing. Here I noticed that because I was printing this on a very fast printer, I see here that there is a small tiny bit of layer shift but the rest is looking nice. Yeah, of course, after support removal, you need to clean it up, but uh, there you go. That is how the tree supports in organic manner will look like. In some slices, they call it organic supports, but the basic thing, you will have big tree trunks with some little trenches that will hold the whole model nice and steady during the print, uh, except for that one. So, and there you go, how to use Creality Print in order to make something pretty like this. Like mentioned, this is a model from Peter Farrell. I will put the link in the description where you can download this SDL file. He has such amazing models, so many to choose from. I thought like, let's go for something like this. This is a pretty simple but effective print to show off how the supports work in Creality Print. Hey, if you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. If you didn't know that, now you know. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Please like this video and let me know in the comments what do you think about Creality Print and what is your print that you are going to challenge yourself with using supports.